Hey guys, this is Alpha Rooms and I'm gonna be teaching you guys about organisms and life processes. Yeah, it's basically the first chapter of IGCSC and Excel Biology and Section A. Obviously, I forgot to mention that. So this is the section A of IGCSC and Excel Biology and I'm gonna be teaching you the first chapter which is life processes and let's move on. So first thing you guys should know about life processes is that every living thing in this world have these eight characteristics well basically all of them have it so first let's take uh, humans for example we need nutrition we need food to eat and we need to excrete them so first two comes as nutrition need food and excretion removing waste products and we also need to move obviously and we need to grow and develop yep like me I'm teen not fully grown yet so and we need to respire respiration we need to produce energy in our body and obviously to respond to a stimuli and reproduction controlling there and we need to control our internal environment that's obvious this happens through homeostasis you'll learn about homeostasis in plants the chapter about plants I don't remember the chapter okay so now let's move on to the cell structure so basically animal cells have, are completely, um, not completely, there are, they do have similarities but are different from plant cells. But these are the unspecialized animal and plant cells. You can find cell membrane, nucleus, cytoplasm and mitochondria in animal cells and in plant cells. You can find chloroplast, nucleus, mitochondria, cell wall, cell membrane, vacuole and cytoplasm. So let's move on. So basically this the same thing I just told you guys. Animal cells contain cell membrane, cytoplasm, nucleus, mitochondria. I don't know why I'm repeating it, but let's just move on. And plant cells, same thing. Contains not the same of animal cells, but the same thing what I said, if you know what I mean. Okay. Contains cell wall, vacuole, chloroplast, and nucleus, and cell membrane. Okay, now every cell go through respiration goes through respiration so animal cells mainly go through I mean to respiration aerobic and anaerobic but in plants plants rarely go through anaerobic respiration because they don't move Apologies. aerobic respiration occurs in our cell when there is sufficient amount of oxygen av available in our body but anaerobic respiration occurs when there is lack lack of oxygen in our body and Yep, anaerobic producer. Um, sorry, guys. Anaerobic respiration produces lactic acid in our body, and that's obvious. Okay, enzymes. Now let's move on to enzymes. Enzymes are biological catalysts. Biological catalysts. These are the things that speed up. I mean, catalysts, not biological. Just take biological away. I mean, I'm gonna. Sh I mean, oh my god. Just forgive me, guys. Okay, catalysts. They speed up, they speed up the reaction without getting used up. Okay, so enzymes are biological catalysts that control all the reaction in a cell. Catalysts are the things that speed up the reaction without getting used up. Enzymes are always proteins. Okay, now let's take the active site of an enzyme. This protein molecule has a protein molecule has a shape in it called the active site the substrate attaches to this active site in this active site the reaction then takes place and products are formed it's all like can you you can look at the picture for example the substrate is the blue color thing and the enzyme is the yellow color thing and the active site is this like you know the shape of the substrate which attaches and now when you move on to the right side you can see the enzyme substrate complex well basically this is when both of them attach attach just together and the reaction takes place and products are formed let's now move on now movement into and out of cells diffusion is one way of this movements into and out of cell well movement of particles of, I mean in diffusion movements of particle occur from an area of higher concentration to an area of lower concentration 
they do not use energy. Diffusion is affected by concentration, temperature and the available surface area. Now, osmosis. Then you guys should remember this. Osmosis is a special type of diffusion where only water moves across a partially permeable membrane. Movement of water occurs from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration just like in diffusion. Okay, now specialized cells. Cells, these are the cells that have been specialized for a particular function in the body. I mean, unlike the unspecialized cells, I mean, unspecialized cells, I showed you as an example for animals and plant cells, these cells have been, you know, specialized for a particular function in the body. For You can take the examples right there. For example, erythro sites where well, basically they are in blood cells you guys don't have to memorize any through Christ and nerve cells and sperm cells are some examples so we have come to an end thanks for watching and so sorry guys this is the first time I'm making a video and basically teaching to the world so uh, I would like to hear some ways I could improve on teaching and subscribe for more and comment down below what you find hard in understanding what I in what I taught and probably I'll reply to all of your comments and probably make it easier for you to understand. So thank you for watching again and I'm I do apologize for my wrong grammar probably and my pronunciation. I'm kinda sick and my tongue is you know going blah 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 and so sorry guys. So, so thank you for watching again. Subscribe for more and see you guys in the next video. Like for biology. Probably give me a test. Sorry guys. Bye.